but let's um, go to Kodeo. Earlier, they held a press conference as the Coalition of Election Domestic Observers. Uh, they held a press conference earlier addressed by Sheikh Arimi Al Shaibu. Let's listen. The PVT Observer report shows that the December 7, 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections were generally conducted according to Ghana's electoral laws and procedures. While there were some challenges, the challenges were isolated and did not undermine the process, uh, the process's overall credibility. In 99.9% .9 of polling stations, electoral officials respected Kodeo observers' status as the Electoral Commission's accredited election observers and permitted them to observe the polls. By 7.15 a.m., over half of the polling stations, that is 65.7%, had opened. Another 28.8% opened between 7.16 and 8 a.m., adding up to 94.5% uh, opening by 8 a.m. Most of the polling stations, that is 72.5%, had the required number of election officials, that is up to six. Another 18.6% had five officials, and 5.9% had four officials, and 2.3% had one. We had between one to three officials. In terms of gender, 87.3% of presiding of officers were males, and 12.7% were females. The setup of most polling stations ensured that persons with mobility challenges that is, the disabled and the elderly could easily access, access them. That is 94.5%. And all voters could cast their ballots in secret. That is, in 91.8%, uh, everybody was able to cast his vote in secrecy. From our PVT estimates, Korea projects that voter turnout and rejected ballots ballot rates will not go beyond 80% and 2% respectively. Reported incidents. As of 10.30 a.m., Kodeo 4,000 observers reported a total of 254 cases of incidents during the opening, voting, and counting stages of the polling process throughout the country. Incidents of harassment, intimidation of polling officials and, and, and voters were the most common. Kodeo observers reported party agents' refusal to sign collation sheets for a variety of reasons, including denial of a recount and discrepancies between total valid votes and varied vote, varied, uh, verified voters on the polling station results sheets in some constituencies, including Jomoro in the Western region, Doma West in, in Bono region, Zabzogo, Asen, and Upper Dentura East in the Central region, and Fomina in the Ashanti region. Violation of COVID-19 protocols. In observed polling stations in Nandom and Lambusie constituencies in the Upper West region, Complete violation, such as no hand washing at the collation center, no enforcement of wearing of nose masks, COVID-19 protocols was recorded. Kodeo deems it important to make it known to the public that its observers reported that most of these cases were quite, quite uh, quickly resolved by election officials and key election stakeholders, such as the security services, at polling stations and thereby did not affect the polling process in any significant way. Commendation and acknowledgement. Kodeo commends the Electoral Commission for work done so far, particularly in COVID-19 pandemic circumstances, that the December 7, 2020 elections were organized, were organized equally Kodeo recognizes the security agency's role, particularly the Election Security Task Force, for their professionalism and diligence in securing the polls. 
we urge them to continue to remain professional and protect the counting and tabulation process and provide security to all officials and citizens. Kodeo further expresses gratitude to the Institute of Public Relations. Kodeo further expresses gratitude to the Institute of Public Relations for donating 100,000 Ghana cities worth of face masks to Kodeo for distribution in highly need communities and deprived and underprivileged registered voters who may not be able to afford their mask to exercise their franchise in a safe environment. Kodeo appreciates various international observer groups who support Ghana's ele electoral and democratic process, particularly those who visited Kodeo National Information Center. We commend the National Peace Council, the National Media Commission and the political parties and voters and citizens for their overall respective complementary roles during this exercise. Finally, Kodeo acknowledges the generous support of the American people through the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, and the financial support of Star Ghana with the funding from UK aid and European Union that made it possible for it to undertake the December 7, 2020 election observation exercise. In conclusion, Kodeo continues to observe the post-election counting of votes and results collation process with the, with the deployment of observers at all the 275 constituency collation centers as well as at the National Research Collation National Results Coalition Centers in Accra. In addition, Kodeo has received data from all 275 constituencies that voters um, that voted on Monday, December 7, 2020, completed the analysis and has its PVT estimates for the presidential election results ready. In keeping with our protocols, Kodeo will release its PVT estimates for the presidential election results following the official announcement by the Electoral Commission in order to provide independent verification of accuracy of the latter. Thus, Kodoyo BVPBT serves as a powerful tool that ensures that the presidential results announced by the EC reflect the ballot cast at all polling stations. Kodoyo commends Ghanaians for the impressive turnout during the elections and their overall comportment during the 48 hours. We urge all Ghanaians to remain calm and allow the Electoral Commission to undertake its lawful duty, collect results, and declare winner, winners of the presidential and parliamentary elections. Accordingly, Kodeo condemns attempts by political parties rushing to declare results before the EC's official announcement. We urge all political parties and citizens to be law abiding to be law abiding and remain calm as we wait on the electoral commission to complete its work and declare the official results we equally remind all citizens to follow the covid-19 pandemic safety measures including wearing of nose mask and hand washing kodeo expresses sincere gratitude to the thousands of voters who dedicated their time to ensure that Ghana once again went through this democratic exercise of electing new leaders to govern the country for, uh, in the next four years. Thank you.